Okay, we're just gonna get in position here. I'm gonna set this one from the crow's nest um, and probably tow from up there for a little while just to give you guys a different vantage point. <clears throat> Normally I just stay in the wheelhouse down here, but I thought that would be kind of fun. And hopefully this set's a little better than the last one, but we're just winding down to the season, so it's no big deal. We're really just after some some nice silvers for our direct market. So I'm pretty close to where I want to be, so I'll go ahead and go up top. I have my controls up here, my radio. Got me here. Communicate with my skiff man. Turn on my throttle, my steering, <clears throat> and I think we're all ready. Let her go. And there she goes. We usually don't set very fast. Hopefully if everything just goes out like this, we're in good shape. What you don't want is your <clears throat> lead line to get over the top of your corks. If it's only a few corks, it'll pull out. Now the net just crossed over. We switched sides to help even out our load because we're such a small vessel. Just about out of net on the deck here, so I think I'm okay. We can get in pretty tight to this stuff here. Now I just slow down a little bit, and look at that, it's perfect. Yeah, just pull until I get a little belly in it and straightens out, okay? I'm good here, I'm right on the beach. Now we'll just sit here and tow. We're gonna hold this open for about half an hour. And we got a nice little curve in our net now. That looks good. It'll get bagged out a little bit more as we go here. Yeah, I'm good. I'm right where I want to be, so looks good here.
So these are the purse rings. They're attached to these straps to go down to the rib line and the bottom of the net, the lead line. And so after we've closed and we've pursed it up, that is bringing in all the purse line right here. We take this ring bar, we put it through these and we lift it up. And now this is the bottom of the net and it's completely up out of the water. So none of the fish can escape. So now as we bring the net back in, the purse rings slip off the ring bar and they go up through the block and back down. And meanwhile, the purse line just slides freely through them. And that way it pays out evenly for the next set. Once in a while it gets tangled up over here a little bit, so you gotta keep an eye on it. If this ends up too tight, then you have a big huge pile of purse line at the end of the set. And when you start to set out again, your, uh, your lead line will like to bunch up. So every once in a while we'll raise these up with our single. Keep from making a pocket that the fish can swim through. You can see how the fish just naturally like to follow a corner or an edge. Whether it's the shoreline or a net, they'll come up into a corner like that and they'll hit it and they'll just turn straight around and go back down. Then knock the web down a little for these guys. So I'll start getting my end ready here in a minute. Just gonna let this line loose. This is just holding up the front of the net up there. It just kind of helps create a little curtain right here. A lot of it, it keeps this uh, Spectra <clears throat> money bag from floating back into the rest of it because this stuff is pretty light and it doesn't take very much just to keep it flagged up. You can even see the pre-bunt right there that's all just up high in the water. So we pull it forward this way and that keeps it from drifting back here and getting tangled up as you're hauling the rest in. Good job, T. He's pulling on those corks to keep the net up down here. If it starts to sag down too much, you'll get a pocket and the fish can uh, sink the corks and get out. So it's pretty important to keep that tightened up right there. Look at these guys down there. The nice silver right there swimming out. Smaller ones are pinks. Okay. Let this go right here. Get our end ready. So this is the very bottom of the net right here. Pull the cork line back. Hook it right here. And we're gonna take the end, stretch it right over here, clip it in, and then I have another clip here, and I'm just gonna put it on these first couple of rings here. It all helps keep that kind of tight. And we're gonna take the rest of this breast line right here. We're just gonna pull it tight and cleat it off on our deck winch. Then when you roll the fish on board, this won't go over. Get our net stretched out a little bit. Pull the send in right here. So we'll just lift this last lead line on. And drop that down. Now it's coming over on the skiff. Mom will pull in the tow line right there and coil it up so we don't run over it when we're done. And clip it there. And I clip it back in here and then use that to help roll fish on in a big bag. We won't need it for this one, but it helps, so. And last, we'll just boom over a little bit. Oh, nice silver. All right, coming up, boys. Now they're pulling the corks and the web to help tighten up the belly of the net. 
And you'll see the fish all just kind of flow into there. And lots of jellyfish. Pick out the silvers. We're gonna have them, we'll bleed them out and we're taking them to our uh, custom processor to have them processed for our own markets. I'll just, I'll just kind of dump them right here and we'll get the silvers out first, okay? Yep. Ah, oh, look at that beauty. Beautiful fish. Right into the slush eyes. You know, super chill those fish, they'll be beautiful. Oh man, they're powerful fish. These jellyfish are drag, especially these red ones. Nasty stinging tentacles on them. We're gonna keep some of these fish for bait for halibut. Yeah, so they're only paying 17 cents a pound. If we go buy these back as bait, they'll charge us a buck a pound. So we're just gonna keep some for what we need for halibut, save ourselves some money. Are you ready? Shall we just pour these out? Yeah. Now we can just stomp all these through the guppers. A lot of jellyfish on that one. We need a gate. Yep. I see some people have a gate. Yeah. Maybe you know what, uh, Jimmy that did. Doesn't need to be very big. Nope. Like twice the size of these scuppers would make it pretty easy, huh? Yeah. Let's put our ring bar back up. Ready for next time. Does it? Matt will get his end all tidied up there, organized in the skiff, bring his tow line over to the skiff, we'll pull in all the extra purse line, coil it in the skiff so it can feed out. Tristan has a skiff release. Put it in the deck winch over here. Pull it tight. Dog it off. It's all ready to go for the next round. The last thing is just to put our zipper line back in the block. It has the same thing. It's got a release right here for after we close up and we start to bring it in, you pop this and then you can bring the net in.
all set for the next one okay guys well that's it from my perspective it's kind of my duties and what i do on deck so 